Hey everybody, it's me again. I know I put a video out earlier today and I don't usually even do a video every day. Um, usually a couple of weeks, so this is a two for one day, which is strange for me. So I just wanted to touch on something real quick. Uh, Matt from the Linux cast uh, commented on my video um, and was just saying that I kind of proved why he doesn't like the scratchpad setup on i3 and that you have to use multiple keybinds for each scratchpad. So I figured let's go ahead and resolve that. So what we've done here is if I open up my i3 config again, I've done a couple things here. Let's go ahead and zoom in and basically what I've done is I've commented out the um, activation keybind for the NCM PCPP and the Ranger and I've actually added them onto the line with the uh, main terminal scratch pad activation so remember when I pressed the mod sh or mod control return it activated or you know uh, prepped the scratch pad for working and then when I used the mod return it launched the scratch pad well now if you press the one mod control return it activates all three of them and then you can press just the uh, mod return, alt mod return, and alt mod F, and any one of them will go. So he was saying two keybinds for each um, scratch pad was a bit much. So, you know, six key bindings for three scratch pads. So that's one solution is basically one activation keybind to launch all of them, get them all up and running, and then you can use different keybinds to show whichever scratch pad you want. Or the even better way to do this, if we scroll down to the auto start, um, what we have down here is we have in our auto start section right here we have execute no startup ID and then we have kitty dash dash name drop down st dash n scratch execute and cmpcpp and execute no startup ID kitty dash dash name ranger e ranger so basically what this does right here is auto starts your um, scratch pads instead of having to run a keybind before you scratch them. So basically, the second you log into your i3 setup, you don't have to press any other keybinds, but you can then instantly start launching all of your scratch pads without having to activate them manually. They just manually activate with the um, auto start command in your i3 config. So, that being said, just wanted to show you that. Um, again, let's go back over there real quick. Um, so what we've done is we've eliminated the need to have this first key binding to activate the scratch pads because they are set up right here in our auto start section of our i3 config and so as soon as you log in you can just automatically start using all of your scratch pads so that being said hope that helps you Matt, hope that uh, kind of gives you a little better uh, feel for i3. Again, not that you have to not use i3 run. That's not the point here. Uh, just kind of wanted to address your, your concern and maybe uh, uh, show you another way to do it. So that being said, great. Hope you guys have a great evening and God bless.